Welcome. So this question says um, uh, at t equals two uh, zero seconds, a three kilogram particle travels at eight meters per second around a circular path of radius four meters. The particle has a tangential acceleration of plus five meters per second squared. And it's saying what is the particle's net acceleration and what is the particle's angle, what is the angle between the particle's net acceleration and the particle's centripetal acceleration. So the first thing we should do is, is kind of draw this out. So here's the circular path. And if you imagine, here's the particle. And it's a three kilogram particle. And it's traveling at eight meters per second. And it also has a uh, tangential acceleration. It's, again, it's positive, so we can imagine the tangential acceleration has been like that, of uh, plus 5 meters per second squared. Now, because it's going in a circle, I know there's also a centripetal acceleration. So I have two accelerations. I have one acceleration because it's going in a circle, and that's the centripetal acceleration. And I have another acceleration, which is pointed in the same direction as the uh, tangential velocity. So I know this thing is speeding up. It's going faster and faster and faster and faster. Uh, these two accelerations, when added together, will give me the net acceleration. I know one of them. I know the tangential acceleration, but I need to find the centripetal acceleration. So I can say find a C using a C equals V squared over R. So my centripetal acceleration is equal to 8 squared over my radius is 4, which equals 64 over 4, which equals 1, uh, 16 meters per second squared. Okay, so I found uh, 64 over 4, 16 meters per second squared. Um, yes, so uh, it asks for the net acceleration and it asks for the angle between the uh, net acceleration and the centripetal acceleration. So let's try and draw this a little bit better to scale. So the, uh, um, the acceleration, if you like, in that direction is plus 5 meters per second squared and the acceleration in this direction is plus 16 meters per second squared and my net acceleration is this guy here so this is a net okay so the first thing to do is find a net so find a net using uh, well, look at old Pythagoras, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So a net squared is equal to 5 squared plus 16 squared. So a net is going to equal, let's just figure this out, and this is going to be 5 squared is 25, added to 16 squared gives me a total of 281, second square root, second answer will give me the square root of that, so I'm getting 16.76, 16.76 meters per second squared, cool. And then the next thing I want to do is find the angle between the net acceleration and the centripetal acceleration, which is this angle here. So I can say, oh, uh, 
theta is equal to the inverse tangent, 10 to the minus 1, of the opposite, which is 5, over the adjacent, which is 16, which equals, so I go second tangent, 5 divided by 16 equals, and I'm getting 17.35. So I'm getting 17.35. So, and that looks about right. It's like, you know, it's a small number and a big number, so I'd expect a number less than 45. Um, so then if I look over here, I'm seeing 16.7, 16.8, and I'm seeing 17.35. Oh, it's, it's A is my answer on that one. Um, so basically, you know, you have to understand the terminology about net acceleration. You have to be able to visualize you had to recognize the fact that there's two components to acceleration, there's the centripetal and also the tangential. Um, then you had to remember Pythagoras, so you could link these two guys together, and you had to remember your inverse tangent, so you could work out the angle. But there it is.